Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we made our way from the beautiful but hot beaches of Bahia de San Augustin to the cooler temperatures of San Cristobal and Chiapas. In this video, we leave San Cristobal and revisit some tire worries on our way to our next stop. When we finally arrive in Palenque, we explore the impressive Mayan pyramids near our camping site and even get a visit from a howler monkey. Hey guys, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like. Good morning, lovely people. Saturday, and today we move. So we're heading towards Palenque. Hopefully we'll make it there in two days, maybe one day. We'll see how things go. Google map says it's six hour drive. I'm assuming eight now for us, but we'll see how things go. Searching for a brighter day Leaving yesterday behind oh, oh. So we had to stop, we have a low tire problem It's not that bad though Just the, the dashboard was telling me low pressure I think it's the one where we had the flat tire too but I just think is the uh, difference in temperature, right? You go from hot to cold and uh, I think that's it. Anyway, fingers crossed. Looking forward into the light I found you A world brand new Sky is blue Sensor light is not going off in the car, so it has me a little worried. Still at 70, where I should be, so that's a good thing. Just the sensor light is not going off. Seventy. Everything is good. It's just a sensor light. So we're heading towards Villa Hermosa and then Palenque. But we have no idea where we're gonna stay. So, like I told men, if we can find a campground, worst case scenario, we'll find an hotel. Hey, good morning guys. So we are in Palenque. It's very known for all the pyramids and all that cool stuff around here. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are doing it solo because again, it's not pet friendly. Mana is staying in the van and I'm going for a nice little walk. That should be fun. And we're gonna go see the Zona Archeologica Palenque. Oh, on the second note, we are staying at Maya Bell Campgrounds. The pizza was good, 
Europa, mucho expensive, 500 pesos for a night. Electric, Wi-Fi is okay, better from the restaurant. Hey, I would rate this campground maybe a four, five out of 10. Uh, it was quiet, we're the only ones here. Um, there's another guy from Quebec, but he's not taking electric, so he's on the opposite side. But we're here for the location. No sidewalk, but yeah, let's go. So, first road walk. They're closed, they close the gate. There's a gate on the middle of the street, but it's a police officer, which is a good thing, because it's controlled, I'm assuming. And uh, we have to go over here to buy our ticket. So, yeah, all right. Adventures continue. All right, so we needed to buy two tickets. So 97 pesos and 85 pesos. And they were trying to sell guided tours. Oh, uh, might have been worth it quicker, but uh, I don't know. I just like to go on my own, I guess. They keep telling me that my tripod is not allowed. It's not even a tripod, guys. It's just a little stick that I hold in my hands. So one ticket will give you access to the selva, to the forest, to the park, and the other ticket will give you access to the site itself. So since we're close to the campground, we decided to walk. I think from the campground is about two kilometers and you get into this little sort of village kind of thing. Not a village, but the welcome center and a lot of merchants, food, items, bunch of stuff, right? Oh so yeah. So no drones allowed. And if you want to bring your camera in, I think I saw something like 30 or 40 dollars just for the camera. So I opt to get some footage with my cell phone. Cell phones are totally okay. As you enter the site, you'll notice many locals offering tours. Keep in mind, it's all in Spanish and it'll vary from 200 to 500 pesos. Alenque was a Mayan city state in the southern Mexico that perished in the 8th century. The Palenque ruins date from 226 BC to 799 AD. After its decline, it was overgrown by jungle, but has since been excavated and restored. Palenque is a medium-sized site, smaller than Tikal, Chichen Itza, or Copan, but it contains some of the finest architecture. Much of the history of Palenque has been reconstructed from reading the hieroglyphic inscriptions on the many monuments. Historians now have a long sequence of ruling dynasty of Palenque in the 5th century and an extensive knowledge of the city-state's rivalry with other states. The most famous ruler of Palenque was Pascal the Great whose tomb has been found and excavated in the Temple of the Inscriptions. By 2005, the discovered area covered up to 2.5 kilometers, but it is estimated that less than 10% of the total area in the city is explored, leaving more than a thousand structures still covered by jungle. Palenque received 920,000 visitors in 2017. This is the Temple of the Inscriptions, and up there, you can see that there are carvings on actual glyphs, and the glyphs are some of the oldest known glyphs in the Mayan world.
first monkey sighting of this trip. So far so good, no snakes. If only the waterfalls would shut up so I can concentrate. <laughs> Actually, this is one of the best places to meditate. There's nobody here. The odd person will walk through every once in a while, but otherwise, it's just so peaceful. You're by yourself. It's pretty amazing. That's my friend. I just met him. He's from Iran. Yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> but it was fun. It was interesting. There's way much more to see, but everybody's pitching me guided tour and they're pretty expensive you know i really hope that uh, the footage came out good which i would have done with the gopro but they were charging over a thousand pesos so divided that by 20 yeah about 50 dollars to use a gopro or any camera it's kind of insane i hope you guys like this video if you did give us a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it helps us a lot and it's super motivating when we see a nice momentum. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.